Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Leonard. Good morning, Leonard. Anytime you get off to a, a, a bad start in your first home game, you're looking for ways to come back and redeem yourself and identify those issues that uh, that you faltered on and, and, and try to come out and, and be an improved team. Uh, as I look back at, at the game and watch the films, it's obvious that we was pacing ourselves. Uh, it's obvious that we, we, we were pacing ourselves being a little unsure what the rotation was going to be like because of, you know, the lack of depth. We've always been accustomed to, you know, rotating guys around four and a half or five minutes. And we had guys that played extended minutes and they just, it, it seemed as though from watching them play, uh, it was uncharacteristic for us to not, to not be nearly as aggressive as we normally have been offensively or defensively. Hopefully we can figure out a little better rotation than uh, with the, the, with this edition of, of FSU, FSU basketball to uh, maybe be able to provide them with a little more confidence so they can play with, with the same level of intensity, knowing that they're going to get, we're going to not extend it to too, too many minutes. I thought there were several times when guys asked to come out of the game, but we, weren't, we were not able to, uh, to, uh, <clears throat> to give them rest because of, one thing or another. So we have some adjustments that we're making uh, with this team. We learn about them. They learn about each other. Hopefully we'll, this will be a game that we can at least solve some of those things and be a lot better uh, <clears throat> going into this game than we were the other night. Go to Chris Nee. Leonard, what are some things you can see in the first four, eight minutes of this game on Friday night that can be positive signs of them kind of learning the lessons from the loss the other night? Well, what we have to do is just be who we are, you know, and be consistent with it. You know, we have, I, I, for instance, uh, I thought that instead of pushing the ball down the court and flowing into our offense and creating some indecision on the defense, uh, we kind of coasted down and played against their 2-2-1, two, two, and then we got half court and played against their their zone defense. You know, that we we were – that's a, what I'm saying, pacing ourselves. You know, we, you know, you, you normally, you who you are, you have a certain system you utilize. I didn't feel that we gave ourselves a chance to execute what we work on all the time. And uh, I thought that defensively, we were not nearly as aggressive as we have been. Um, we, uh, that once again, was a sign that we were trying to pace ourselves and trying to <laughs> reserve our energy. Um, I thought that, um, executing our offense was was a sporadic um i thought that um that's probably is, has as much to do with um us being kind of new to each other we never really got into our, our, our zone offense at all uh and then on on the on the other on the um attacking their man to man you know i thought we was extremely impatient and, and then move the ball to create, uh, you know, those unique opportunities we always create for each other. And even in our press offense, we had guys who had um, some game slippage and never really got to their spots uh, like they're supposed to defensively, and, I mean, offensively. And, and so those are things that I, I, I didn't anticipate, but that just shows that we still, we knew to each other, knew to our system and probably, counting on a lot of first year players a little bit more than what we have in the past. Go to Matt from Orlando. Yeah, Leonard, I mean, you're no stranger to having to deal with weather challenges from your time at Oklahoma State and up in the Big East, uh, Big East area. How does this kind of affect you guys being a young team, you know, maybe trying to have to adjust what you guys were able to do from a normal travel day? Well, you know, we're doing these times, you, you can't, even have a conversation about it. You just got to go on through it, work through it, and, and try not to let it bother you at all. Uh, main thing for us to do is 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 defeat the the, the the enemy that you're looking in the mirror with. You know, we got we, we we have bigger issues than to worry about the travel plans and the weather. The game's played inside. We're going to have lights and officials. Uh, you know, so they have to make the same adjustments we have to make, except they're not traveling. It's not something that I'm really over concerned about. 
Uh, we just gotta we gotta focus more on who we are and 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 how we go out and represent ourselves than anything else. Go to Kurt Weiler. Hey Leonard, um, I, what have you seen a response from the team over the the last few days since Monday? And I guess I know you had some questions coming into the year of kind of who with all the uh, second year veterans was going to be the the leader. Have you have you seen anybody step up in in that in that way? Well, not in the not in the game the other night. We I didn't think we had good leadership at all. Uh, I thought that we had guys that had moments where they played extremely hard with a lot of energy, but the, from a verbal standpoint of, of correcting our mistakes so as we were playing, I, I don't think we did a very good job of that. Uh, we we were making some adjustments uh, without communicating it to all the other guys on the floor. I, I just think that that's part of growing it. We, I guess our inexperience really showed up a, a lot the other night in terms of the, the leadership and the togetherness that we have, have have become accustomed to. But when you look at Central Florida, they have some adjustments they have to make too. They have a lot of new guys. They might be older, some seniors, some transfers who's played at two or three different schools. But I think they, they're probably a little further along from the maturity standpoint than we are. But we have to make those adjustments. You know, this is the beginning of the season. We, we, we cannot, those things that we can control, we need to control. And I don't think from a leadership standpoint the other night we we controlled that atmosphere go next to austin cox uh hey coach hamilton hope you're doing well i uh, just wanted to ask you about uh you know outside shooting like three-point shooting you know how important is that uh, to covering it defensively um you know how important is stopping the three for just what y'all want to do defensively well you know we we, we, were, we were not a very good uh perimeter defense perimeter defensive team last year. I thought that we gave up. We, we I think that the field goal percentage defense last year was the highest in the last 20 years for, for uh, our style of defense. And uh, that's something we have to correct. Uh, obviously, the little kid, number 25, he, as we approached him, he backed up further. He was one of those unusual kids. We had one of those, one of those great nights nice shooting. But still, I didn't think we did a very good job of contesting. Um, and, and we need to make some adjustments because I thought that game plan was excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me, they had <clears throat> two little point guards <clears throat> that dribbled the ball, <clears throat> had no intentions of, uh, of shooting, but they broke our defense down and they sprayed it to the shooters. And we, we, we took the bait. We, we cut the cover, cover in instead of covering out and we left some shooters open on the weak side. So that's defensive um, execution. We got to do a much better job of, of handling that that way. <clears throat> Next to uh, Essen from uh, Democrat. Yeah, Coach Hamilton, um, looking at the box score, um, Naheem McLeod got eight minutes in the first half, two minutes in the second half. Was that kind of just how the script of that game went? Or um, is that something, you know, how, around what his minutes are going to look like this year? No, I, I, we expect him to, to play many more minutes. It's just that <clears throat> it's obvious that we're going to have to make some adjustments with him switching out on the ball. That's not his strength. So we, we'll make some adjustments on that, not put him out there. So we had to have quicker people to, to, to do a, a better job and, and defensively. <clears throat> and so those are, things we, those are things we learn about our team and adjustments we have to make. Go to Carter from the Democrat. Hi, Leonard. Uh, wh what can you tell us about Darren Green and just what did you guys like about him out of UCF and when he went into the transfer portal? Well, the, the thing about it is it, that's philosophical, but as it relates to the game the other night, you know, if the ball's not moving and we're not making the extra pass and creating – shots for each other out of our teammate, uh, out of our system. Uh, a guy like him won't be able to, to be at his best. I thought the other night that we were a little too anxious. Um, we, we didn't have enough possessions where we reversed the ball uh, enough to, to create indecision on the defensive part. And that's part of that execution and, um, and leadership that we didn't, didn't display on, on the court the other night. Um, 
he's an outstanding shooter, very seldom is he off, but we we uh, we didn't allow our offense to create those same shots for him that he needs. And that's a, that was a flaw in our system, but we, we're very confident in, in uh, Green. We think he's going to end up having a good year for us, uh, but we have to have a, a better uh, level of understanding how to create for each other so that we can take advantage of the skills we have on this team. Next, go to Michael O'Donnell, who will be calling the game for ESPN+. Plus. Hey, Coach, good to see you again. Um, I got two questions for you. The, um, the, the first question is, do you remember how bad my brother Ben O'Donnell was as a walk-on in 2007, <laughs> number one? And then number two, how, was, uh, um, how would you rate Cameron's – off season during the summer, what kind of things did you have him work on? You talking about Cameron Fletcher? Yes, man. Cameron has in, improved his perimeter shooting at such a clip that it's almost astonishing the confidence that he's shooting the ball with. Um, his, his form, he corrected his form. He's really, really confident that he's actually challenging <laughs> Darren Green sometime after practice in their little shooting games. But no, I do not remember. Uh, your brother. <laughs> he didn't think you would. <laughs> no, I, 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 I had to admit, tell him I'm sorry. Uh, but right. I go back and check the stats. And I, he didn't have any. He didn't have any. You, don't, you won't find any. Yeah. But but no, realistically, um, Cam has improved his ball and hound, his passing. He's he's really really making tremendous progress, and he's 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 my most high energy type player. Uh, he's athletic now that he's shooting the ball better. And he's actually learned the system. He's becoming more of a vocal leader uh, on our team. And I, I love the progress that he's making. Go to Austin Lyon, who is also calling the game on ESPN+. Plus. Coach, good morning. Could you share some thoughts on what you saw from UCF on film from, from Monday night's game and what you feel like some of the important keys are going to be for you guys to have success against them? I, I thought they were extremely aggressive defensively. And I thought that uh, they just ran into a buzzsaw, a team that played out of their minds against UC Asheville. Actually, they didn't play that well, to tell you the truth. <laughs> As I go back and watch the game, I mean, they were right there. And I was, I was very impressed with the confidence that they played. Guys shot the ball with confidence. They're making a lot of adjustments themselves. And, Obviously, the Hendricks kid had an outstanding game, shows that he, he he's one of those guys that's going to be one of the best players that they've had at, at uh, UCL. I thought that they're mixing their defenses with sound. Um, and, and they had their moments where I thought that everybody played like with the confidence that I think it's going to take for them to continue to keep getting better and better. I didn't realize how long and athletic they, they were until watching the film. They, they're extremely deep, they're very versatile, and they look like they enjoy playing together. Go back to Matt from Orlando. Leonard, going back to Darren Green, obviously he's, he's coming back to play in front of a, a familiar crowd back at UCF. Do you have to tell him anything maybe to keep his emotions in check, kind of do this homecoming kind of game he's going to have to face again? No, not really. I think he's, I think he's matured enough. That won't be the issue. The issue will be us executing and playing the way we need to play for us to win. Darren's a, a, a very mature youngster. He knows what he's coming back to. I, I, obviously, he wants to play well every game. Uh, he's going to be back in front of the crowd. I don't think that's going to bother him. Long, long as we uh, improve on our execution, I think he'll be fine. Any more follow-ups from anybody at all? I've got one, Leonard. Um, I you met, you talked about having to make adjustments defensively. I know your preference is to switch everything. Sorry, my wife called me. Bad timing. Um, do you have to go away from switching everything for right now with this group till maybe they get a little more groomed, a little more seasoned? It, it depends on it, dep it depends on who's in the game. Some guys we're very comfortable with that, and some guys we we're, we're not. You know, obviously. Being seven four, Naheem has not quite uh, adapted that yet, uh, but I don't I don't think we have any problem with anybody else. So we'll make some adjustments 
is how we, how we, how what we do with him, but but mostly everything else to be the same. Uh, we we'll, we'll make the necessary adjustments we have to make because of the lack of depth that we that we have now compared to what we've been in the past. So I'm sure you'll see a couple of things that we're doing a little different. Any more follow ups for Coach Hamilton? Yeah, Coach, you, you mentioned the, the lack of leadership in the Stetson game and how this team is still coming together. Do you hope that a, a leader em uh, emerges organically, or are there certain guys that you are going to as a staff and trying to implore them to be more vocal? Well, obviously, you have everyone has their own personality, uh, and it's ask someone to be out of their personality is what we're asking for. But but I've always said that the team needs to the team needs to have a system uh, that everybody responds to uh, 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 on a consistent basis. And and not only I don't want to put that burden on one particular person because in order to have a great leader you got to have good followers. And so if you if you're always communicating as a team, huddling and communicating and making those adjustments. I think it's the best way. If I try to put that responsibility on one particular person who who has only been in our program for, for two years, I think sometimes that's asking a little bit much. We should we should be eager to be followers. We should everyone should be part of the leadership team in order for you to be successful. Anybody and else? the last one for the, the last one for me, I, I just wondered if you could share a little bit on. The, the recruiting process of Tom, your evaluation of him in the preseason and, and what you saw from him on Monday night? Well, Tom's very smart. He has a high IQ. Uh, he's still learning. I thought he had some moments where he had some game slippage where he should have been in the middle of the floor and he was out in, on the wings. That's just things that you expect a first-year player to mistakes that they make. He'll make those adjustments. Uh, I think you'll see a, a better execution for him in this particular game. But Tom's one of the better shooters that we've had at Florida State. He has a high IQ. He's a very competitive, he's a gym rat. Uh, and I think he's, but he's a freshman and he'll go through those, those moments where he's in transition as well as any other freshman in the country. Any more questions this morning for coach? All right, thank you, coach. Thank you, Leonard. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Leonard. Thanks, coach. Anybody need anything at all? No. All right. Well, those who will see you tomorrow night, we'll see you tomorrow night. And uh, those who need anything, um, I'll make some calls right here in a little bit, and um, I'll send the notes out uh, in uh, once they get proofed, and you guys should be in pretty good shape. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.